Genetic Engineering In the last several years, many organisms have been genetically modified. We have seen pigs that glow in the dark, chickens that grow without feathers, and goats that produce spider silk proteins. However, the thing that really has people concerned are genetically modified foods. The idea of eating someone's science project can turn a person's stomach, especially for those who aspire to eat so-called whole or natural foods. So what does genetically modified mean anyway, and how are genetically modified foods created? Genetic engineering, sometimes called genetic modification, is the deliberate process of altering the characteristics of an organism by manipulating its genetic material using a series of techniques for cloning genes, splicing DNA together, and inserting genes into cells. Recombinant DNA technology is used in genetic engineering, and it is the joining together of DNA molecules from two different species that are then inserted into a host organism to produce new genetic combinations that are of value to science, medicine, agriculture, and industry. Prior to this technology, finding a specific gene within DNA could be compared to finding a needle in a haystack. However, recombinant DNA technology has made it possible to isolate one gene or any segment of DNA, allowing researchers to mutate it in very specific ways and reinsert the modification into a living organism. The first stage in making a genetically modified plant requires the transfer of DNA into a plant cell. One of the methods used to transfer DNA is to coat the surface of small metal particles with the relevant DNA fragment and bombard or shoot the particles into the plant cells. This is carried out with pressurized inert gas such as helium or by high voltage electronic discharge. The use of the gene gun is an efficient gene transfer while minimizing tissues or cell damage. Once inside the cell, the DNA integrates into the host genome. Another method of genetic modification is the use of a bacterium or virus. The agrobacterium tomb fashions is a biological vector that transfers part of its DNA to plants in nature. However, when this is done naturally, it typically causes a disease which stimulates plants' tissues to grow in a disoriented way. Genetic engineers have found a way to utilize this DNA transfer mechanism while getting rid of the disease-causing properties. Plants and cells are put into a petri dish that facilitates gene transfer. This allows incorporation of genes in a more controlled manner than with the gene gun. However, it does not work equally well in all plant species. There are many purposes for genetically engineered crops and food. The gene coupling increases the ability for the plants to fight against insects. An example of this is Bacillus thuringiensis, or Bt crops. Scientists insert the Bt genes that are responsible for intoxicating insects into the plants, and as a result, the plants obtain the ability to produce their own pesticides. Today, corn and cotton are the most widely harvested Bt crops. Certain genetic traits are modified in order for foods to be enhanced. One of the traits that has been modified is increased nutrition. An example of enhancing nutrition in foods has been carried out with white rice. Millions of people in the developing world get too little vitamin A in their diets. This problem is worse in Asia, where the staple grain, white rice, contains very little vitamin A. Researchers took genes from plants that produce vitamin A and spliced into the genes of white rice DNA, making it into golden rice. Carotene is used in the rice, which gives it the golden color. Once eaten, the carotene from the rice provides the body with vitamin A. Additionally, Genetic engineering reduces the use of herbicides. The widely used herbicide Roundup that kills weeds has to be applied carefully since it can kill the crops too. Therefore, the Monsanto company engineered Roundup Ready crops including soybeans, corn, cotton, and canola. Since these crops are immune to the effects of the herbicide, the farmers can spray Roundup on their field without risking their crops. Lastly, are genetically modified foods safe? Genetically modified foods have been purchased by consumers for decades and no adverse health effects have been found. This doesn't necessarily mean that none exist, it just means that none have been definitely identified. Although about 90% of scientists believe GMOs are safe, only slightly more than a third of consumers share this belief. Supporting efforts that result in genetically modified safe food products is important just as targeting their opposition on those food products that could be potentially unsafe is also very crucial.